on their feet in orange. It will be until Syracuse makes the first field goal per tradition. But it will be Georgetown to start with the ball. Jamie Lucky, Jeffrey Clark, and Brian O'Connell, today's officiating crew. How much fun is this, partner? I mean, it is Georgetown, it is Syracuse. And it is Primo Spears unlocking the scoring for Georgetown. A transfer from Duquesne and Georgetown's leading score. All day long, Mintz has really struggled from beyond the arc so far this season, just 13%. Five transfers in the starting lineup for Georgetown. There's the Connecticut transfer of Cook to Cook. First time all season long, and it's really great ball movement and awareness, and you see Benny Williams really high up. Three guards that can all really score. Spears from Duquesne, Brandon Murray from LSU, and Jay Heath from Arizona State. And it's a Cook with two straight baskets. Bell gets around a Cook, lost it on the way up. And a quick pass from Heath up ahead. Landon Murray with a strong drive. And the follow is there for Spears. The first nine points for Georgetown. What they've had success lately doing is getting Edwards involved early, but Georgetown's defense has done a good job of forcing him to get rid of it. They can finally sit down as Williams drains one over a Cook. If you didn't go to Orange Theory this morning, you had a different kind of Orange Theory. <laughs> Is a three and an answer for Georgetown. Was away from the team. He just entered the transfer portal Wednesday, so he is officially off the roster. Mints into Edwards. Jesse Edwards finishes strong as he typically does. Which means you have a guy on the front side and the back side of him, and you try to be disrupted. And the Wahab, he finishes over the freshman Justin Taylor. A little big to big with a cook feeding Wahab. And Gerard will fire. Edwards on the offensive blast for Syracuse. And Jesse Edwards with a couple of early scores. Two teams that really struggle. Allow a lot of offensive rebounds. That three is good from Heath. And Georgetown is red hot out of the gate. Vince says an opening there. Behind the back, into the paint. Edwards puts it in. Six points for Jesse Edwards. This is Spears. It's a long rebound, tapped by Torrance to himself. He took it away from Heath. Samir Torrance, up to Edwards for the slam. Chases down this rebound, corrals it. He had a steal on the first possession he came in. This time he decides, you know what, let me set up the big guy. You find an easy look underneath the hoop, and all of a sudden, it's the orange on a run. A major topic for Jim Beheim. who went through his own fight some years ago, and does a lot of work in a fight against cancer. Here's the basket for Simir Torrance, Syracuse. He had an 8-0 run inside the dome. Officials were checking the foul. It was on Murray, his second. So big early loss. Georgetown's second leading scorer will sit. Actually, he'll stay in there as Joe Girard. Halfway through the first half in the 98 Syracuse-Georgetown meeting. Girard bangs it home in a Syracuse lead. The first for the Orange today. Go that media timeout, and since that point in time, it has been all Syracuse. Wahab on the second chance will score and reclaim the lead for Georgetown. The transfer retransfer. <laughs> Taylor missed a three. A shot on the offensive blast for Syracuse. Got it back off the feet from Taylor, and a shot scores. Sean pull a shot. And sometimes when you take a player and you put him on the bench. You sit down, you calm the nerves a little bit, you calm yourself, you get yourself ready to go, and it changes the whole game for you. A high fight for the rebound is won by Wayne Bristol Jr. off the Georgetown bench, and it leads to a heat floater with a chance for another three-point play. I like when they flash Murray into that, that centerpiece, or Heath into that centerpiece uh, of that ACC logo and try to get that defense to collapse. And an orange reset. Gerard up and under, one-legged in and out, Trip is there! Look like it was Hema, though, a shot cracks the glass as well. Lunier Hema, the Duquesne transfer, going against his old Duquesne teammate with the ball right now, Spears. Up top, but nobody guarded a Cook. How about that? A Cook. Good find from Spears, a Cook couldn't finish. I love the speed and the explosion by Spears, though. Here's Mitz from Gerard. Basket going the other way because the inability to finish. There's Hema, terrific shot blocker, swatted it away from his old teammate at Duquesne. Heath steps in and bangs it two. Jay Heath did so with Boston College, Arizona State, and Georgetown. There's Hema, a shot, a 
terrific facilitator finding the big man off the bench. Not hard when you're dunking it both times. Mitch takes it away from Heath. Another Georgetown turnover. And Mitch finishes strong this time. He earns the trip to the line. He's now drawn five Georgetown fouls by himself in this first half. Into a cut. Down to a hub. Three yards in there. And a take it away with Hema. It's Mitch against a cut. Got to be better. Here's Gerard looking for another. He's fouled. He scores. Flash by Heath. This is it for a hot. But Georgetown needed that. Used to be it's not a Syracuse Georgetown game until somebody throws a punch, but hopefully we don't have that today. Williams fading away brilliantly. Benny Williams, the sophomore from Bowie for two. They are closing out this first half in style. Trailed by as many as 11. Spears off balance, floats it in. Well, and if you're Jim Beheim, one of the things you're talking to your team about is we got to shore up our defensive glass. Eight offensive rebounds in the first half. Huge closeout by Edwards from that center position of the zone all the way out to the corner. Mitch with another assist. Williams steps it in. Right through a high. Do you feel that it's been called less since the first couple of weeks? Yes. And I'm okay with that, too, a little bit. Mm -hmm. Spears into Edwards. Primo Spears. Georgetown trying to snap a 24-game losing streak to power conference teams. And their last one was the Syracuse game last year. Murray found himself way too wide open. Georgetown's turned it over 11 times today. Mintz attacking. Edwards flushes it. They labeled him the most exciting player that he's ever seen. Denver Atlas in the game, feeding Bradley as a world. A couple of reserves off the bench for Georgetown. The funny thing about it is so many of the, the people that sit in your chair uh, in this profession across all networks have gone to the new house school of broadcast journalism here. Uh, they're some of the best that have ever done. You broke into WAER. We didn't break in. Well, some, somebody put let us in there when it wasn't supposed to. Edwards with a huge rejection on Edwards. Looking for a third straight win after beating Notre Dame on the road and Oakland here at home. After some top losses in the dome early. Edwards off the feet from the jock. It's too easy. Georgetown will take it right before a shot clock violation would have been called. Spears pull up. Fouled and scored. A foul against Girard and Primo Spears. Here's Girard who's not scored since 12 in the first half. Edwards again on Wahab. Edwards puts it in his big cycle. Nine for 11 now for Jesse Edwards. George Sadler leaves a couple of points out after the fourth foul on a shot. Mitz throws up an ugly one and it's saved by Williams and then sent back. Player against Syracuse. Two and three as a head coach. Desoy is trying to get back into it with Spears, who slithers in and scores. 18 for Primo Spears. That's the long scoring draft for Georgetown. Williams feeds Edwards. Good swing to Mintz. Spears hit the deck. Williams hit the finish. That would have punched a hole in the roof. Heath. What a pass that was. Throw the legs from Spears. Sean McDonough told me that earlier today. He's seen one or two, wouldn't you say? Here's a cutting miss with the offhand to score. Under five to play in the goal. Good find by Murray. And Edwards came out of nowhere. How in the world did he get to that? Mitz. What is this shot of a double-double? Could be right here. Instead, he'll get the hockey assist. Edwards to Williams for the lane. Bell into Edwards. Gerard is all alone. Left it short. Edwards. He finds Williams. Look out ball. Mintz has been sensational today. A career high nine assists, but he turns it over, and Miller's got a free runner. It's he. Bell comes over. Alter the shot for the cook. Flushes the foul. Gerard will dribble. Has not scored in the second half. Finds an open bell.
today against different competition. Had a 7-0 run in 65 seconds. Murray snaps that with a deep three. Alabama and Houston coming up next here on ABC. As Gerard tries one final stake through the heart. First time against the Hoyas. Really impressive for the freshman. Jesse Edwards continues to lead the way.